This is Logan Morrison. The hell of a story about his father. Logan Morrison, center field, pace hit. There you go. First big league hit, the first of many. The 23-year-old made his major league debut in July, and his excellent play cemented him as one of the cornerstones of the Marlins' promising future. In April, his father Tom was diagnosed with stage 4 lung cancer. My dad was in the Coast Guard, uh, and he was a small arms instructor. His favorite handgun is a 6 hour P226, and that is it right there. Which all the took lines. us a while to figure out, too. Yes. Yeah, I had to call my mom, and then she had to call my grandpa, and we got it all figured out. When I asked him what kind of gun, his answer was a Beretta. And I called him back like an hour later and was like, dude, now that I think about it, that's standard issue. That's why you saw him with it, because that's what they give you in the Coast Guard. I'm like, I bet that wasn't his favorite. Yeah. <laughs> like, call your mom and ask before I tattoo the wrong fucking gun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. And sure enough, it was a 6 hour 45 and not a Beretta 9. It's a good thing I'm a gun fan and a baseball fan, or I wouldn't have thought of either one. You know? Baker loved it. That was the cool part of the story. Baker and I are really close, and it just worked out to where I was going to be able to be down there for the birth of his child. So it's like really kind of surreal because I'm basically representing the life of him and his father and the end of that, of course, with the death while I'm experiencing Baker's ascension to fatherhood. So it's just like a really intense experience of fatherhood, like all weekend, it was like mind blowing. Physically I couldn't go anywhere, I was in a hospital most of the summer and spring, so I got diagnosed with stage 4 lung cancer. So. You know, he was so proud of me, but I don't think people understand how proud I was to be his son. He's a pretty good kid, people like him. His old coaches came and all the high school people, people in junior college ball with. They don't come because of his dad, I'll tell you that. He came to see me in New York and had my first big league triple. So they kind of made the, uh, the stripes on the sleeve and he, it filled in with Enfield Diamond and he put the starburst on third base to represent the oh. He introduced me into the game and, and uh, if it wasn't for him I wouldn't be around that now. So. And the baseball diamond itself really isn't a baseball diamond. If you look at the, what he's talking about is like the patch yeah. that would on be the on the side, side of his yeah. sleeve. This is the patch. It's just, I turned it into a baseball bat. Like if I'm in a really good mood, I don't create good art. But if I'm like, I don't know. When was the last time you heard of like a uh, wonderfully happy artist? That's the yeah. end. Or a good one anyway. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> it was a hell of a process, because really it's like 10 different ideas that totally don't go together artistically at all. So it was a trick to try and put it all together almost like a puzzle. So I just sat by the pool down at spring training and got drunk all night long and by morning I had this. What are y'all getting into tonight, dude? Uh, oh, you don't know, you're supposed to take me some yeah. naked carb or something, right? Yeah, I've got a special place that I want to take you. So y'all don't tell him anything about what the claim I want to use. Oh, see, in my mind, I thought, surely he's got to take this. I wonder about it. I don't know what this is. Oh, yeah. I'll give you, I'll say this much without giving away. It's fantastic. Okay. There you go. I'm all, nah, nah, nah. I'm nervous, scared, and excited all at the same time. <laughs>